Finally, I've finished the guest bathroom sink and cabinets. This is how it used to look. Before I took on this project, I decided I needed to see if it would hold up, so I painted this non-porous plastic bowl, which is in contrast to the marble sink, which is porous. As you can see from the side of the bowl, I marked on it when I painted it and what I did. First, I put on two coats of white paint. I waited three days or more between coats. Yes, you are reading those dates correctly. That was last May of you know, 2020. I will explain about that in just a minute. The S on the side of the bowl means that I sanded that portion of the bowl because I wanted to see if it really needed to be sanded, if it made a difference, and it didn't. The initial coat of white paint stuck to the bowl just like glue. If you recall, when I did my kitchen counter with the polyacrylic, I did 12 coats because I wanted to make sure it would hold up. Well, this one I was getting a little impatient. I just wanted to get it done, so I only did four coats. The next test was to fill the bowl with water and let it set. After eight hours, I dumped the water out, and yes, down in the bottom, it had bubbled up just a little bit. So after I dumped it out, I just let it set and let it dry, and then it was just hard as could be again. So that was great, because who's going to let water sit in their sink for eight hours? So then I got busy and painted the cabinet white, and I put two coats of black chalk paint on the countertop. Then to paint the sink basin. After one coat, it was kind of streaking looking, and I thought, you know, that looks kind of cool. And I consulted my daughter about it. She said, yeah, she liked streaks, so I left it streaky. After it dried for 24 hours, I began applying my coats of polyacrylic to both the sink and the countertop. And I did four coats, just like I did on the bowl. On the cabinet part of the sink, I put two coats of the white paint and two coats of satin polyacrylic. Well, that looked pretty nice, but I really needed to finish by painting the cabinet above the toilet and doing the drawer pulls and door pulls. You know, sometimes you just have to be in the mood to do something. I love puttering around my house and in my yard, and I'm always busy. But at that point, I was all painted out, and I just didn't feel like doing any more painting. So here we are a year later, and I finally finished painting the cabinet and the hinges, and I had some unfinished drawer pulls in my garage. So I got those out, and I painted them black, and then I put little pink flower stickers on it, and then I coated it with the high-gloss polyacrylic, and hopefully it's going to stay. I made the emblem by laminating some black card stock. Then I cut it with my paper cutter. Yes, I have a very well-equipped office. And as you can see, I put a little flower in the middle of that also. So I went from this to this. Finally finished. Now I'm going to get serious about working on phase two of my kitchen. Bye from Tissueville.